Welcome guys to another Rise of Civilization episode. Today, like I told you guys last episode, we will be talking about expeditions and going through all of that. And then we might also just be doing one or two barbarians. Um, I'll just go see what our what objectives we still got left, what events rather should I say. And yeah, but our main thing today is going to be expeditions. Remember the last episode we talked about battling and moving troops around and what commanders are better to use uh, in certain types of battling. So if you guys haven't seen that, please go and look at my last video and go check my channel, Daddy, as you guys know by now. So anyway, as you guys can see, let me just show you where I, about I am. I normally do this for you guys just so you see what we're doing and where we're going. So as you guys know, I am in Alliance CCA. Our main alliance is CNC. We started off in this area down the bottom here. Uh, we got that pass uh, just to hold the pass so no one could come through that way. And then we kind of moved up all the way to the pass up here. We grabbed that pass. We came into this area. Um, as you can see, my farmers are coming back. My farmers, ha, my gatherers are coming back. So let's just carry on sending out some more gatherers. Uh, just so they can carry on. Always make sure you're gathering all the time. Uh, as you guys know, I'm using Joan of Arc as my one gatherer. Uh, if you guys look here, check her gathering speed there is 100%. If I go put someone better like Sarcha, it's now 106%. So your second gatherer does matter, just remember that, especially because of their skills. So skills matter as a secondary commander. But you guys would know that if you watched my last video. Uh, and yeah, let's just carry on. Uh, we can have a maximum of four. Um, what do you call it? Uh, four marches at the moment, four commanders. So there we go, there's three. Constance is still coming back, and we'll just go and put someone else onto something else. Let's just get the gold. The gold's quite close, only 63,000. Not that much. And then we just go put our Caius there, and there we go. So that's our four marches. But as you guys know, one march is coming back. Another way to quickly look at your marches is this little button there. That little button over there, if you guys didn't see, you, open, you push it, boom, push it, and then that opens up this, and you can see in a big screen your army, so you can see exactly what's happening, you know, and it also shows you the time left, uh, obviously on the way to gathering, but now look there, John of Arc gathering, she's got an hour to gather that um, cropland, yeah. Now on to the actual thing, the expeditions. So for you, those of you that don't know what this is, it's the button down the bottom here and your tab, it says expedition, pretty easy. And when you do expeditions, let's just go into it. When you do expeditions, you get obviously resources. So um, you get, I've got 6,800 and so it's resources. Um, it's called Medal of Conqueror. And these are used to exchange for items in their metal store. So where's the metal store? It is here. This little wheelbarrow thing over here. If you go into it, you can see this is the store. So today, obviously, I went and bought uh, the Joan of Arc sculptures. It cost, it was a thousand. And um, I just went and bought her because obviously I've got her and I want to upgrade her. And it's an easy way to get your sculptures as well. I'm on 23 at the moment, okay? I haven't tried to, oh sorry, I'm on 22 at the moment. I've two started, but I haven't tried to even go to 23 yet. Um, it was 22 was quite difficult, even with the commanders I have. But I actually haven't done this for the last week. So we'll go try and see if we can do it. But um, when you go and collect that chest, you get rewards, okay? And that's basically how you get these Medal of Conquerors. Uh, and that's how I got, well, I had seven. Jeez, I had like 8 point something K and I went and bought a Scipio they gave me in the one and then they gave me Joan of Arc sculpture in the other one. So I just went and bought those. Uh, so that just remember to do every day. So the commanders, if you guys don't know you by now, I've got Scipio. He's an awesome, he's, I'm sorry, the best commander ever. He's probably just below Julius Caesar. And unfortunately, if you guys go look at my Julius, I was stupid. I should have actually left him on one star. I wasn't even thinking when I did this, but I leveled him up to 24 um, and then yeah it was a stupid mistake on my part but anyway what can you do you make these mistakes and that's why I make these videos to help you guys out so you don't make the same mistakes if he was on one star okay he basically I could have upgraded his first skill to five before I, I leveled him up because I'm not gonna use him anyway until his skills are upgraded you know because look at my skip here his skills are on five four and four you know so those are almost maxed out skills so he is like my top commander at the moment then also I've gone and leveled up Lothar. Lothar is very good with dealing with barbarians. He's also a very good second commander. 
because he deals a, dam a damage factor of 450 and he has a healing factor of 450 so it really is good you know and him you would I, I took him the talent route of um nuka and also if you guys haven't seen that wait until the end of this video and i'll show you guys exactly what i'm talking about with that because i don't think i gave that to you in my last video but just wait till the end of the video and I'll show you and explain to you what the different talent parts in are and what you should do with each of your commanders. Um, also Minamoto, he's good to level up if you're gonna like buy the VIP chest and stuff like that. I've got his first skill up to four and his second skill up to two. So the first two skills are basically what matters with him. The rest are good, but they're not the best. His first two skills are what counts, especially his first skill. That is insane. Uh, direct damage of 1400 and additional damage factor of 600 so it's like 2000 uh, damage so it really is nice damage factor and then obviously Joan of Arc uh, she's probably the top second commander if I'm doing like a big um, if I go like killing enemies or something like uh, other alliances I normally use Scipio and I use her as a support but she really is a good support and I'll use like well if Minamoto was leveled up Lahaina I had like a full cavalry I'll probably use him with just cavalry because that's another good way of killing enemies and he's quick to run around after Scipio but Scipio is slow and then he's quick to just run around and killing like uh, gatherers and things like that you know just to be a, a little bit of an annoyance <laughs> um, so yeah guys that's just a quick run through of some more commanders again I know there's so much to talk about on commanders so every episode I do I just try and talk a little bit a little bit a little bit but anyway let's go and do some expeditions that's why we're actually here aren't we so first thing, let's go do our number one expedition. This is going to be pretty basic, pretty easy. As you guys can see down the bottom over here, there's only a, like a one blue person. I know it looks like a milk bottle or something, I don't know. But that's actually, they're talking about commander. So that's one commander, I can use one commander. And the rewards here are a thousand corn, a thousand, uh, uh, sorry, a hundred experience tome and five medal of conquerors. Okay, I've three starred this. Obviously, as you guys can see, it's three starred. So now, how this works is if you go and click on challenge, okay, you'll see it loads up and it comes to the mission. It tells you a mission target. Eliminate all enemies is your first star. That's how you get one star. Complete missions in 60 seconds. That's how you get your second star. And the third star, how you get it is lose less than 50% of your units. So let's see how you get it. And you can see um, your enemy uh, commanders are here. If you click on them, you can see exactly how many people they have. So he's only got 800 level ones. And this guy's got 700 level ones. And you can even see what their skills are, okay? To kind of pay commanders to target them especially. So anyway, you will just go start this. It also says a piece of cake. So we know we are 100% going to win this. Just go and we'll click on... Um, our Scipio, because obviously we can use one commander. I'm using Scipio, the second commander I'm using there is Joan of Arc. And I can use a maximum of 89,000, so I'll just click on max. Boom, gives me 89,000. I don't really want to use siege weapons, because you're fighting, remember, siege weapons aren't good against infantry and things like that. So you're fighting infantry, so let's just go put in some light cavalry as well there. So there we go, we've got 89,000. Remember, also your second commander, only her skills count. So her talents don't count at all. It's just her skills. So remember, you need a commander with good skills. And Joan of Arc is good because she's got nice healing skills, nice decrease in damage and things like that. So anyway, let's go. Ready. We'll start this. So it's a piece of cake. He's got two commanders. I've only got one. I've got 89,000 and he's got 700 troops. Okay, so now you click on your commander, you see a ring around it, you, and it means it's collect. You can also zoom out in this. So anyway, let's just zoom out a little bit. There we go, and zoom in a bit. And then we go click on one of the units and we say attack. You can march, it shows you exactly the time and everything, just like a normal battle. You can zoom in if you want to watch him fight or battle. But anyway, this is pretty easy. That's just how you move your troops around, okay? Look, they didn't even touch us. And there we go, victory. We got three stars because eliminate all your enemies, complete a mission in 60 seconds, lose less than 50% of your units, okay? So we've obviously already claimed this reward at this star level, so we don't get any rewards from it. So that is by pressing the chest. It collects all these rewards that you've three starred, basically. Okay, so anyway, let's go now to a little bit of a harder one. Let's go to number, let's go halfway. Not halfway exactly, but let's go to 18, okay? As you guys can see here now, now we can use three commanders, okay? I think when does it change? I think it changes by six. So at six, you can use two commanders. 
And then at uh, 15, 16, 16, you can use three commanders, okay? So let's start by 16, okay? Let's just do 16. I don't know why, I'm just clicked on here now. And if you can also see the rewards, you get a lot better rewards, a thousand experience in this one, and you get two, so it's 2,000 experience. And when you go to the other ones, look there, you get 3,000 experience, okay? So the rewards, they do increase, which is nice. If we go to 70, we get legendary sculptures, I don't even know if anyone's gotten to 70. If you go click on the um, uh, the the little, what do you call it? The, oh man, the stand, <laughs> what do you call this? <laughs> the, uh, like the roof. So guys, if you go click on the ranking system here on the top right, you can actually see, so the highest person has now gotten to 59. We've completed two missions and we're at 200 plus, okay? So it's only the first 200 show up here anyway. So, let's go and do a mission. So, they've only gotten to 59. So, let's see the rewards for 59. Shoop, 59. Uh, so, they still only get those sculptures, you know. They don't even get the legendary ones. And I wonder, see, there's still a dotted path after the 70. I wonder if there's going to be more expeditions later on, you know. Once people get up high and got a huge troop count. Because remember also your troop capacity count works off this as well you need to have troops in your city to be able to do this or have troops built to be able to do this anyway let's just carry on so we are on 16 we can use three commanders and our awards would be that if we hadn't restarted so if we got challenge now once again it's got our three um missions but now instead of lose less than 50 percent of troops it says all commanders must survive okay and that's harder than it seems because your commanders do die in battle without your troops dying, which is weird, isn't it? So anyway, let's go click this other plus sign. Are we going to use, who's our second one? We'll just use Julius Caesar here. And as our second uh, person, we'll go and use Lothar because he's also got a, uh, like a 5% chance to deal to uh, normal units. And these are basically normal units. Um, oh, geez, sorry, I didn't save it. Ha! <laughs> Okay, so we'll choose Julius Caesar and Lothar there. So we'll go um, max the troops out there. So you can use 84,000 troops. And then we'll just do one more, which will be... We'll just put in Minamoto. Unfortunately, I haven't got him to three stars or level 20. So I can only use one commander there. But anyway, he's only got 17,000. So it's just for the rest. So use all your troops because you've got them anyway. You might as well use them. And remember, your commanders must survive. So don't use Minamoto because obviously he's still quite weak okay so there we go so now this battle starts so as you guys can see he's got four people deployed over here one two three four look also the way he's deployed them okay he's deployed them in a straight line so you kind of want to attack the middle person you don't want to be you don't want him to surround just one of your troops so go click on the middle person attack I'll use um, my strongest army, which is Scipio, to kind of be the brunt, be the um, tank, as you guys can say. Then I'll go a little bit after that, put um, Julius, and then I'll go and wait with Minamoto a lot longer, and then just go and deploy him as well, so he can kind of go help out. But there we go, as you guys can see, they're already basically killing everyone there. And who's taking the most damage is Scipio. He's the one actually taking the damage at the moment. So he's like our tank kind of thing, if you want to call it that. And there we go, we three started. Pretty easy, isn't it? Pretty simple. Okay, so let's go do a little bit of a harder one. Let's go and do 20 now. So once again, we can still use three commanders and our awards are 3000 experience this time and uh, 80 Medal of Honors. Um, but anyway, we've already claimed these rewards. So you can't get them multiple times by doing it multiple times. Uh, you can only move down and once you three star base like these ones i haven't three starred so on this one i'll probably get the um i think it's experience ones i didn't get but anyway i haven't three starred those yet maybe we can go try and three start after this so let's just challenge again we can use three commanders again he's only got one commander if we click on it what is this commander it's hannibal barker he's a legendary his <coughs> sorry his skill is skills are so his main skill is active skill remember this is the first skill everyone's got this active skills first skill this is the one that you require the rage on when you see those yellow bars move up on the side of your portrait this is what it's talking about okay this is the skill that it's costing deals direct damage once damage factor of 400 to a single target then reduce 
its damage by 25% and decreases its defense by 25% in the next 5 seconds, okay? Then the second skill is a passive skill. When there are two different types of units in Hannibal's troops, increase all damage by 3%. When there are three different troops of units in, oh, sorry, three different drops of units in <coughs> unit in the troops, increase all damage by seven percent. Okay, so there we go. That's his abilities. So once again, we've chosen our three commanders: Scipio, Julius, and Minamoto. And now we'll see how many troops he's got. Twenty, thirty, basically forty-five thousand. What's our mission target? Defeat the target. Okay, so defeat him, kill him, obviously. Lose less than 50% of units, all commanders must survive, okay? So this is where why I didn't get the three stars, is because there's lose less than 50% of units, okay? Because my units, some of them are tier 1 still, unfortunately. I haven't got like all T3 units. So let's just go start that. Once again, we can uh, use Scipio uh, to kind of draw the fire. So we, there's Hannibal there, he's got 45. We'll go click on... Sorry. So our Minamoto is actually started at the back there this time. I don't know why. That's quite weird. So anyway, don't take too much time. But we know Scipio is our kind of tank. And then our Julius is the next one. So click, attack, Julius, march. And then our Minamoto can just come from behind. This time I'm killing him quite quick because I do have a lot more tier 3 units. When I did this first, I only had tier 2 units. Now I've got a lot of tier 3 units kind of thing. So anyway, Minamoto's coming from the back. You can see Hannibal's also going to get us surrounded. Uh, if my guy actually makes it there before he does. See, he's surrounded three times. So we've surrounded him. So he's really going to die. So there we go. Three stars. Easy as that. Um, I think that's a one already three star. Let's do 21, okay? 21 once again, 3, we can use 3 generals, let's challenge that, I've only 2 stars, I haven't 3 stars, so listen to the mission targets, eliminate all enemies, complete mission in 60 seconds, all commanders must survive, okay, and if we go click, it's 12,000 troops there, 12,000, so it's 24,000, uh, 31,000, 44,000 troops, and that's like 50, so it's about 53,000, and I've got like 130,000, I think, you know, uh, but remember, this is all commanders must survive. My Minamoto keeps dying in this uh, when he was a little, a little bit lower level. So let's see if we can do it this time. So remember, it's, you only got 60 seconds, so you need to do this quickly. So we'll go start. We'll look where the troops are. Okay, our troops are starting quite in a uh, range. Uh, Julius Caesar is starting there. So we've got the 12,000, 9,000, 12,000, 12,000 thingy. So we go and send our Scipio. Sorry, I'll skip here. We'll just go and attack here. We'll skip here and we'll follow up with Minamoto. So, click on there, Minamoto, boom. And then we go use our Julius to kind of go to for Boudicca. Like that. Uh, so, we are surrounded three times, unfortunately. See, Minamoto died again. He keeps dying in this. So if you guys can see, the troops are still survive, but he died himself. He died. So maybe I just mustn't use him. Okay, so there we go. We killed him. We need to just kill this troops as well. And we've basically got a minute left. So we didn't do this in 60 seconds either. So we've kind of lost only one started, I think. And you guys can also see what armies and how many units are left in the left hand corner there. So we only two started, okay? Um, we, oh, our Minamoto did survive, but we just didn't eliminate all the enemies in 60 seconds. So let's do it again and do it a lot quicker without me explaining everything. Now you guys kind of saw how I did that, and we'll just challenge it again and do that without talking so much. Okay. So you want to be quick with this. Victoria, no access. Okay, and then we'll just go and kill these people as well, and we know that Julius is already there. So we kind of know the layout already, we know what's happening and everything like that. So it's a lot better, you know. So we know Julius is there. They surrounded and we surrounded. They surrounded twice and we surrounded once, okay. We want to kill Boudicca before we get surrounded. Okay, we got surrounded anyway. Okay, there we go. So they completed and Julius, come on, kill her! Kill Constance! Kill her! Kill her! Kill her! There we go, we are done. 
Bam, we should have two starred. Three starred. So there we go, guys. Another thing you can do is go into the battle, look at the troops layout and everything like this, especially when you have the mission where it's speed. Complete the mission in 60 seconds. 60 seconds is goes quickly. One minute. It goes very quick, you know, when you have to decide and everything. So go in. Decide what you want to do first, then exit the mission, then go back in and do it. Okay, so let's just do 22 here. And then we'll try 23. So now they've got a lot more units, but they're only T2 units. Tier 2. Tier 2, Tier 2, Tier 2. Okay, so we'll start this. They're all basically just in a purely straight line. So we'll attack the middle. Um... We're going to attack the middle with Scipio, attack the middle with Julius, just don't take too long to obviously click and we'll wait a little bit with Minamoto until the guys engage and then we'll send them. So Scipio is like our tank, remember everyone's going to target Scipio, so he is definitely our tank, so that's why we got Joan of Arc, a healer, to kind of support him, you know, a good support system. So everyone's uh, in there now, everyone's attacking. And now it's just the one commander left. Remember to click, hold it there, because we wanna. We know we're gonna go kill. Victoria. There you go. Go kill him. No, Bam. Attack yeah. Julius. You can I also move in there. Parade. Help skip you out a little bit. Surround it twice. Dead. Okay, there we go. Three start guys. As easy as that. And now we got our rewards. Finally, it's three thousand experience, our middle of honors, and our wood. So there we go. Done. Just because I upgraded my units to T3, because I only did this when I had T2 units. So because I've got T3, I could do that one. Let's see what 23 is. Let's see if we can do 23. Oh my god, this is exciting. Okay, what's this mission? Mission target. Eliminate all enemies, complete in 60 seconds. Lose less than 30% of your units. Lose less than 30. That's crazy. You know, I'm never, never, ever, never. 27, 38, 48,000. Okay, maybe, maybe we can do this. It's only 50-something thousand units. Um, so let's go see if we can quickly do this and do this one time. Okay, so once again, we're going to attack the... Uh, what we'll do here actually is we'll attack the outer edge, okay? So attack the outer edge so we don't draw everyone in at once. Then click Julius and then click Minamoto. Okay, so we attack the outer edge so we only draw maybe two, three of the armies and not all five. And then one, we'll just hold it like this, marching, because we can kind of see when our people are finished attacking. So we can see Julius, he's already finished. So we move Julius through there. When the motor is camping. Okay, so there we go. These guys down here are finished attacking, so we can kind of go kill John of Arc there as well. Victoria. Move, Julius. Very lazy thing. Okay, so I don't think we did that in 60 seconds. No. Okay, so we need to be a bit quicker this time. So let's try that again. So complete. Okay, so it's just the. So we did everything except the time. Oh man. Was it 23 that we tried? Oh no, it was 22, man. It was 23 we tried. Sorry, guys. So, 23. So, let's just go do that again. Okay, this one be a bit quicker. So, we'll attack the middle this time. Because we could see we could handle the losses. So, it's fine. Uh, Julius Caesar. And we'll click on the outer edge, which would be Minamoto. Okay, there we go. So, we're probably going to attract three of them, maybe four. Okay, so we only attracted three again. So we'll click here, we'll click on attack, just so we can see when people are camping. When they got the camping sign, it means they've finished attacking. We want them to attack the next person. Okay, so you can see Julius Caesar, now he's attacking. He was camping, but he got pulled into that attack. Oh my gosh, sorry guys. So we go and attack, and attack with Scipio there. The other thing we can try to do if we don't do it in 60 seconds is try to draw all of the fighting. All five. Oh, I don't think we did this in 60 seconds. 
Oh, we did. We just did it. Oh, my God. I think it was one second left. We literally, I think we had one one second or nine seconds left. I couldn't even look at the timer. I was concentrating too much. <gasps> concentrating too hard. So, there we go. 23. Done. So, next one would be 24. Okay. We still only get three commanders. We get four commanders at when? At 26. So anyway guys, that's how easy it is. That is your expedition and that's how you do it. So those are the little tricks to remember. Remember to open up your tab um, on the side here. So what I mean is uh, when you're in a battle, so we'll just start it, just so I can show you guys. If you're in a battle and you click on an attack, you'll see, you see they've got the camping sound there. That means they have stopped attacking, okay? So this is a quick way of telling when the people have stopped attacking to get them to attack the next set of units. Also, try not to draw all the power and try and have one hero that's at least a tank. Like Scipio, he's a very good leader. He's got leader abilities and things like that. So um, he increases health, increases thing. Joan of Arc heals and things like that, decreases attack, stuff like that, you know? So he's a very good leader. Um, then Minamoto is more like a nuker. So he's the damage. And obviously Julius at the moment, he's a very good leader, but he's not leveled up high enough. And he's got Lothar. I think, who do we have with Julius? I think we put Lothar with Julius. So Lothar is also very good against barbarians though. Um, but he's got abilities to, um, to kill neutrals. And these are considered like neutrals, your expedition. So let's just go and can Yes, we want to quit the mission because we've done it. But there we go, guys. That's how easy it is. Um, so there we go guys that is how easy it is and what i was talking about now with the um the lead abilities and things like that you've got a sheet i'm sure you guys have seen this on the internet by now i haven't designed this it was designed i'm just going to pull it up and kind of show you guys what it is okay guys so there it is basically so you've got the infantry attack path you've got the infantry defense path You've got cavalry, archers, archer, gatherer, leader, neutral, nuker. Okay, unless you use a Briton, I wouldn't really worry about the archer's attack path because it's not really that great for everyone else. Obviously, Rome, I'm infantry, so I'm going for the infantry attack path, okay? Once, only, only once you can max out your troop capacity with only infantry. Or else it's useless, you know? It's really not worth it. Once again, cavalry, obviously Minamoto. That's the way I did Minamoto. So if I just um, show you guys here, zoom in there. That is how I did Minamoto, okay? So you go like kind of the nuka path, but then you go straight for cavalry, okay? Uh, for uh, Minamoto, but that's once again, only once you can level them up. The other way I kind of like for Minamoto though is the nuka path, this path here. Um, because you go all the way down to the rage, okay? And at the, the rage, you get, every time you cast a skill, he can regenerate rage. That's a very good skill to have. Um, I've gone the leader path, okay? So the leader path, you go all the way up to increase troop capacity. This is a mix, guys. You remember at the moment, you don't have enough troop capacity to fill your guys up with just purely infantry or just purely archers or just purely cavalry. No, you got to do a mixture of troops. So this is the best way to kind of um, give everyone a little bit of a buff, you know. And at the end, his final ability there is troop capacity, which is obviously awesome, you know. <laughs> Um, so that's what I do with Julius and Scipio. With John of Ock, I'm literally going gatherer route, and I've shown you guys this before. So you just need to get to 25. You don't need to level them up higher than that until you maybe late in the game. Because at 25, you can get the gold, which increases your um, harvesting of gold, basically. Um, the other one that I'll probably be doing as soon as I get um, my Scipio's troop capacity to infantry with him is definitely going the infantry path with Scipio. Africanus and probably Julius Caesar when I do the neutral path no, I haven't really gone it yet to be honest so I don't know it doesn't look that great to me to be honest with you so I'll go the leader path with Scipio and Julius Caesar and obviously you've got the nuka path for Minamoto and then cavalry path for later on when you can just do purely cavalry so that's it guys this